All right, we've already gone through kind of a modifier. When we, what I mean by modifier is you've got your brush stroke here, so we have to go to our standard brush. We have a brush, standard brush here. Hold on control, that modifies this brush into a mask brush. Hold on shift, we're now in a smooth brush. If you hold down control shift, you're going to get a visibility modifier. So this is going to be what part of our object is seen while we're working on it. By default, select rect is selected. So you can hold on control shift, and you can hold down uh, to start dragging out, you'll have a rectangle, just like the other modifier brushes, you can hold down spacebar to move this around. So if we want to like take the back of his head off, or her head off, we can go here, and then we can let go, and that'll select that head. So because that was green when we were dragging it out, it's just going to select that piece and show it as visible. So you can still go through here, and you can sculpt, you can mask. Let's hold down control and go back to mask pin. And you can do pretty much anything you need to do. You can even go through here and you can do like an inflate deformer. So visibility also acts as kind of a mask. Because if I hold down control shift and tap to bring everything back, you're gonna see it actually inflated that geometry even though the rest of it wasn't visible. So let's go ahead and undo that. And let's talk about that base functionality one more time. So just like when we were masking and you can really like control, dragging out here and control tapping to invert that mask, and then holding that control and alt to give you a different unmask option here. And now that I mentioned it, one thing I want to mention with masking, if you hold on Control Alt with nothing masked, it'll actually uh, mask everything else and unmask this. We'll get more into that when we get into Z Modeler. But anyway, if you hold on Control Shift and you have it and it's green, that'll just show that object. Control Shift Tap brings everything back, or Control Shift Drag to select that. Control Shift Drag in your document to invert that. And just like masking, if you go over here to Visibility. You're going to see there's your buttons for what I'm doing essentially. So if you hold down Control Shift and drag, now you can grow visibility. And if you hover over this, you can see that's Control Shift X. You can shrink visibility. Control Shift S, so Control Shift S for shrink. Control Shift X for expand. If you do Control Shift A, that's grow all, and that's going to come in handy when we have a lot of subtools. If you want to hide the back of the head, instead of having to like show it and then invert it, what you can do is hold down Control Shift and Alt, and that'll go ahead and hide the back of the head here. So that was came, that came in useful if, for example, I hold down Control Shift Tap to bring everything back, Control Shift Alt to get rid of the back of the head, and then you can go to the front here and use Mask Pin, and now we can mask a rectangle through the head, but then it doesn't mask through the head because we hold down Control Shift and bring it back. It was nothing there for it to mask. So that's one way to kind of mask through without masking through. Now, just like the other uh, brush and stroke options, if you hold down Control Shift, there's a rectangle option. You can change that to a circle, and then you can mask or visibility a circle, a curve. You can hold down Control Shift, and now you have a curve that you can kind of mask through. A lasso, hold down Alt, and you can lasso visibility. So those should all look very familiar to you, as well as if you want to do rectangle square, rectangle center, you can just do that and have them squared and centered. So all that good stuff. So again, just like masking, if you hold on control and go up here, it's gonna give you all your masking options. You can go into your just your regular brush options here and you can search for like, oh, there's select rectangle, there's select lasso, or hold on control shift, go up here, and now all your visibility and clipping brushes are available to you. We're just talking about visibility, so I'm gonna just stick with select lasso and select rectangle. So select lasso's right here, there you go. It's essentially the select rectangle with the lasso stroke gives you the same result but sometimes it's nice to go from lasso to select rectangle however i will say select rectangle select lasso does have a little bit of a different functionality it's kind of hard to show on here when i get the z modeler i'll show you a better example is when we get the select lasso here if you zoom way on your object turn on polyframe here. If you hold down control shift with select lasso selected and you select an edge it'll actually go through and select edge rings um, like so. And then also, if you hold down Control Shift and go to Select Rectangle, this is a good one for selecting polygroups. Now, we haven't gotten into polygroups yet, but we'll go ahead and transition into that video now.